Well, after the weeks of rain, it's nice to get some dry weather. It does feel like all it's done this year is rain. And today what I've decided I'm going to do is just get some of my strawberry runners into hanging baskets. In recent years I find myself growing strawberries in hanging baskets more and more often. The first year, which is what this hanging basket here was, they, they go inside my greenhouse here at home so we can get some hopefully early uh, strawberry out of these. And the runners from that are what I'm potting up now. So I've potted up the runners into plastic pots and I've just used these clips to hold it into place. And they're just going to go inside here for the time being. And then we're going to repeat that with these others. As you can see, we got quite a few runners from this one plant last year, which I think is a great way of just multiplying the amount of strawberry plants that we have. And we're going to repeat that again this year, the following year, and so on. So we're always getting new strawberry runners going and fresh stock ready to go. This variety is actually pristine, which has done pretty well over the winter to say the least. It survived the winter quite nicely, I've got to say. Now because it's such a lovely day today, something that I have managed to do this weekend is I've got some new chickens. And I'm, we've, we've named one of them. So the speckled one, which is a, marlin, a speckled marlin variety, we have named Equinox. My wife has named it. But the white one, which is a leghorn variety, should pro hopefully produce us with some little lovely white eggs, which is what I really wanted, the different colour eggs. We should hopefully um, get eggs from that fairly soon, actually. But we haven't got a name for that. And I'm running a competition where you could win tickets to Gardener's World Spring Fair down at Bewley uh, in the beginning of May. I've added a link down below. All you've got to do is come up with a decent name for that to uh, to be in with a chance for winning the tickets. But details on that are down below. Click on the link and it'll tell you what to do. Well, that has given us four pristine strawberry plants to go in the greenhouse for year one. Like I said, year one in the greenhouse at home. Year two, they'll be hanging up outside here. Year three and four, they'll be down on the allotment and then they go straight in the compost bin after that. Reason I do this, strawberries generally only fruit decently for three, four years. So by putting them in hanging baskets, I just find it's an easier way to throw them in the compost bin and get rid of them rather than trying to control the runners and keep the beds nice and tidy. But that's how I do it. And I find it works quite nicely for me. Bit of uh, moving around, but it's simple, which is something I'm trying to emphasize a lot at the moment. Now, I have also been given a butler sink, which needs a bit of a clean up, admittedly, but I'm debating what I'm going to do with that. If you've got any ideas on what I can do with this butler sink, let me know down in the comments down below. And also, let me know how you grow strawberry plants as well. Right, I will be back again next time, so until then, please take care.